How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from Scale Model Car Guy channel and today's video is going to be uh, mail call, uh, stash ads, and uh, uh, well, uh, kind of a small little collection I bought that I want to share with you guys and tell you the story behind them. But before I do, I want to thank you, the subscriber. All my subscribers, thank you. If it wasn't for y'all, this little redneck from Arkansas would not have a channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes your world go around, guys. Subscribing is free. Free, 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 free. I'll never ask you for a dime or anything, guys. Not a thing. All right. I, and this video might be a little bit long. Y'all noticed I haven't been putting up a lot of content. Right now, it's just been a very, 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 very busy time. I've only had one day off this week, and the, that day off, I went to almost Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I was like 20 miles, maybe not even 20 miles, probably about 15 miles or so away from Kansas City uh, to pick some models up, and uh, so I've not had time for nothing, guys, nothing, but uh, let's get this video started. All right. Got a shop card in the mail today. Larry's Model Shop. Check this out. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, real Mustang right there. That is one beautiful shop card. Larry, thank you for the kind words, guys. Y'all go subscribe to him. I'll leave description below, as I will leave for everybody below. And uh, speaking of, I just watched uh, Doozer's Models. Oh, Dwayne. He's uh he's our buddy up north in Canada. Uh he uh you know he's doing his uh, uh celebration of life build for uh Chris Cortell. You y'all know we all lost him. And um in his video, you know, he's almost made it to five hundred subscribers, guys. And you know what, that guy's been doing this for a long time. I'm asking you guys, if you're subscribed to me, please go check him out. I will leave Dwayne's uh, uh, channel and stuff in the description below. Go check that out, description below. And uh, Doozer's Models. Y'all go help this guy get up to a thousand. My God, he's been doing this for a long time. He has won talented and I do mean talented modeler matter of fact I don't know if you can see he he is a generous guy too I mean very giving he I don't know if you can see that truck right there but he painted and gave me that truck and all I had to do was build it you know do, do the rest of it but he yeah he he painted polished cleared, polished, you know, he did the whole, and just give it to me. Wanted me to build it. I finished building it. Guys, I mean, somebody like that, come on now. Uh, he does a lot for our community. He's a good guy. Help him get up to a thousand. I mean, he's struggling to get to 500 and he, he deserves way more than that. So if you're su subscribed to me, please go over there and subscribe to him. All right. With that being said, me and old Jimmy, over at Leadhead Customs, we did some trading and messing around there, and uh, well, I hadn't had time. I've had it for a while now, and he's probably done made a video of what he got and everything, but I haven't had time. This is my video, and I'm going to show you guys my end of the deal. Voila, look at that. Got me another Maverick. Y'all know I don't really need it, but I got it. I needed it like I need a hole in the head, but man, I love my Mavericks. Uh, so that makes probably like number eight or nine for me. And I get them every time I can get them. They're one of my favorite cars of all time. When I was in high school, I had a Maverick Grabber for not very long, but I had one. And there's a story behind why I don't have or didn't have it very long. But that's for another time. And then I got another one of these. <laughs> This model is complete minus chassis. Well, if y'all remember, I had a junk 
holds the F85. You know, Adam at Sodak Models had an F85 wagon that the rear quarter panels, the wheel wells, were hogged out. I told him, I said, I have a body that's been smashed and you know, it was just no good. The whole car was no good. You know, it was just a parts car. And uh, I sent him that body so he could cut it up. Well, you know, of course, I kept the chassis and stuff like that. Hey, I got chassis for it now. Now I got a complete one. That's, that makes like three of them for me now. I love them things. All right, and then, of course, I had to order this. As a matter of fact, I ordered two of them. And my, I might have to order some more, but I love these are these are some of my favorite cars right here, and uh, that's probably going to be my uh, Mustang group build for uh, Mike at uh, Scale Speed Works. But you know we'll discuss that when it gets there. But it's probably going to be that one right there. All right, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, tell y'all the story behind what I'm fixing to show you, and then I'm going to shut my mouth and turn it around and and show you all these models that I got. Well, uh, Stephanie, this kind lady, she lives up in uh, Missouri, and for me, it's about a four and a half hour drive. I drove four and a half hours to get these models, and her father had built these models back in the 60s and 70s, and she grew up with these models that he had, and uh, well, unfortunately, you know, he passed away a couple years ago. And she wanted somebody to uh, take these models and, and enjoy and love them like he did. Because, uh, you know, she didn't have the space for them, this and that, you know. And and uh, so I drove all the way that way to get these models. And uh, and none of them are for sale or trade, guys. I'm telling you right now. Uh, but I'm going to show you what all I got. And these are some awesome models. The majority of them, I'm just going to clean them up. And I got a, a, a cabinet ready for them display cabinet ready for them and i'm just going to display them the way they are there's a few of them i'm going to restore and fix up but but the majority of them i'm just going to display so i'm going to shut my mouth and i'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to look at them one by one it's going to be a long video guys so stick around all right all right let's start this video off the very first one will be a beer wagon you can see right here, she's complete, just needs to be cleaned up and just display it. And that will be the first one. Let me get that one out of the way and let's show this one. Let's move that one, put this one up here. Y'all recognize that? That is the garbage truck. Got some dust on it. We need to clean her up. Y'all can see right there. It's got the surfboards. There's the inside of it. He did a very good job on these too. They're brush painted. You can see they're brush painted, but man, he did an excellent job. Those are worthy. I'm just, I'm just gonna clean them up and put them on the shelf and display them. And y'all can see a theme here, can't you? Here's a really awesome one, too. That is the original monogram surf woody. And I got the surfboards here. Uh, if I can get them. And here are the surfboards for it. They just need to be cleaned up. But yeah, beautiful build. Beautiful build. Nice and clean box stock. Look at that. Look at them beautiful white walls. All right, let's move that one out of the way. Let's see here. Let's go with this one right here. Like I said, y'all see a theme here. This one here. There we go. Street Fighter. Look at that thing. Beautiful red glass. Beautiful job. He done an excellent job on this. Look at that. 
something to be proud of i'll just i'll 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 display these proudly they just need a good clean and a polish boy look at that beautiful let's see here here's one i know you guys are really gonna like let's get the old let's get the old skeleton here the old boot hill express look at that beautiful build he did an excellent job look at the curtains in there and the tassels i mean yeah i'm just put that in let's just clean it off and display it man you can't ask for better than that guys that that is a beautiful job beautiful job let me move that one out of the way. I hope you guys don't get bored with my stuff here. But This one here, old Papa Rob's going to really love this. Look at that. That is a survivor for sure. Look at that. What was that, 1939? Beautiful. Man, it just needs a good cleaning. Look at this. This one's never been painted. It's even got the old flathead. Look at all the decals put on there. Look at that. He must have built that when he was younger. Another good one. John, check this one out. Papa Rob. It's a dusty too. These are dusty. These really need a good cleaning, but look at this. Look at the decals on that thing. The moon disc with the, I guess it's fiery wrenches on it. Espresso Racing Team. Coolsville. Look at that. It's got even got a trophy back here. Oh, it's got it's got another trophy. It's got all kinds of stuff back there. <laughs> Check that out. Rob all right sticking with the old show car theme here look at there silhouette look at the decal on this one cool dicky look there and we even got the we even got the trailer for it too. They even got the trailer, guys. Trailer, you know, it fits right there in the back. Got both those. Move that out of the way. Let's see. Let's check this one out. Everybody recognize this? What is that called? Ice T or the ice something another look there it's got the ice back here yeah clean it up display it the body he just painted the top and interior stuff but the yellows the way it come molded the bottom's been painted look at that that is very very cool Here's something else I know you guys are going to like. And there's a lot of parts that are coming off these that I'll have to glue back on and this and that. But look there. Bad medicine. Beautiful build. Beautiful build. Look at that. Guys, it don't get no better than this. All these beautiful show rods. Here's one of my favorites right here. Let me show you something else. Ugh, let me get it found here. Look at there. What do y'all think about that? That is just too cool. Them white walls. That was an actual show car back in the day. That is just... That's absolutely sweet. I mean, guys. 
Tell me that's not sexy. Oh. Beautiful. Let's keep keep it moving. That way I can get this video over with, guys. Y'all don't have to suffer. Let's see. I showed everything in that box. Let's move this box. Sorry, guys. I got a lot of stuff. Oh. I got this one, too. 1963. <coughs> Ford pickup. With the go-kart and the go-kart cover there. The wheels are in the back that are broke off. It's This one here is going to be a restore, guys. I'm going to strip the paint off this and restore this bad boy. There's the engine in there. 1963 Ford pickup. Original issue, and they're fixing to come back out with this with the camper. And I can't wait. I'm going to buy because I got another one of these 63 Fords, the original one with the camper. Y'all remember George gave me. And this one here... I'm going to paint like the model I used to have that George gave me a long time ago. George gave me one mint a long time ago, and I wound up selling it and getting rid of it, and I didn't want to, and I did. But hey, things are what they are, but this one's going to get restored and put back the way that George had given it to me. I'm going to have the white top, paint it blue, and then put the go-kart in the back, and it's just awesome. I love it. But yeah, that's a good restore right there, guys. Uh Here's another cool one. Now, this one here will probably be a restore because it's the original Revell kit, and you can see the, the tires are eating into the plastic, in the plastic. Those have got to come off. This thing, I'll strip it. But check out what he did in here. Toolbox, all the tools, fire extinguisher, gas cans, wrenches, hammers. I mean, just... He did a good job, but... That one in de desperate need of a, a restore, and I will restore that one. Let's see. What else we got? We got, oh. This is one y'all's going to love. And, and actually, guys, this is a super rare kit right here. That is a premier Corvair ramp side pickup. And look at everything you did to it. Look. He's made it a tow truck. Papa Rob, you're going to... And look, it even works. Look at this. He built this back in the 60s, guys. Look at that. It's got the flathead. It's got a hoist system. Look, it, it's got tools in there. Battery gas cans. It's got a Model A wheel back there. It's got hubcaps stacked up. Guys, <laughs> it's got wheels and tires. I mean... Just imagine this kid, when he was a kid, what he was thinking when he was building that. You know he was proud of himself. I'm proud of it. I'm proud, don't it? This in here, I could not restore this kit. This is a clean up and put it and display it. There's no way I could restore that. That's just, that is just too cool. And the ramp even works. Look at that ramp side. Gosh dang guys, that's just that right there is that's just what model building's all about. That's model building from the sixties right there. Look at that. Don't get no better than that. Don't get no better than that. Let's put this one back. Okay. Let's do this. Thank everybody recognize this. Let me move this camera up here. Sorry for the shaking, guys. I think everybody recognizes that. Tijuana Taxi. Man, that just needs a clean up. And I will display it just the way it, just the way he built it, just the way he meant it. Right there, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful kit. I mean, he had some talent, let me tell you. Had some talent. Oh. And here is another really, really cool kit. Look at that. Y'all recognize that? That is the tarantula. 
that was molded in green, but he painted it blue. Look at that. Is that too cool or what? Yes, that will be left alone. That will be left alone. Look at those cool wheels on that thing. That's just, look how sleek and cool that is. Oh, guys. Don't get no better than that. Now this one here, don't know if it's even going to fit on there. Look at that. Skew bus. Got all the children in there. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at there. That is just too cool. That is way too cool, guys. Look at the front end of that. Oh, that is just absolutely too cool. Definitely just clean this up and display it, guys. Definitely. No reason to restore any of those. No reason whatsoever. Clean up and display. All right. I got more of them show cars to show you, but I got to show you. This was one of his Reese. She said one of his most recent builds, and that's the, and this is from the 80s, so. And it was never painted, just put together. I even got the box to this. He actually, or she, she actually still had the box to this, so I got the box to it. It's never been painted. That's probably one of the last ones he'd built. But, going back to the 60s. The tire just come off of it, and it's in the box. But here is a 34 Ford. That would have been a monogram 34 Ford, and this looks like a parts parts build because it's got AMT parts on it, monogram parts on it. Look at that. Look how you built that one. It's got two front ends on it. Look at that front end for the rear end. <laughs> He even wired it with, looks like a thread. Look at that front end. Papa Rob, what do you think about that? Two racing seats in it, a roll bar. <laughs> Papa Rob, this is your favorite car of all time. It's the AMT 32 Ford. Look there, never been painted. Put together. There's the toe thing that's come off there, but look at that. That's a trog racer right there, guys. That's trog if, if I ain't ever seen one. There you go. There's that one. Check this one out. Monogram 34 Ford Cabriolet or convertible customized got the custom wheels on it got a couple troll babies in the back but yeah that's the original monogram right there you can see it's molded in that dark maroon i have a stock version of this uh built that's the original monogram kit customizing kit look at the engine in there <laughs> Kid had he had imagination when he's a kid, didn't he? Let's see. Okay, I got more here. Uh. <laughs> Cherry bomb. Look at that. Just clean it up, glue the pieces back on that's fell off. I won't do a thing to it. Other than just put it back together, guys. Look at that. Interior. There's your engine compartment right there. Look at that. That's just wild. Just wild. There's the trailer and the motorcycle. Cool chopper. Look at that. Big old cherry bomb gas tank. Let's get that one moved. Right. 
Papa Rob, there's another one. Being towed to the races. Looks like he took home a trophy. Look at there. So cool. Just display it. He built that as a kid in the 60s. No paint on it. Engine. Look at there. That's just... That's just wild. He took home to first place. <laughs> that is just wild. Here's one that's very cool. I'm going to get it, if I can get it up there. I don't know if I can even get it up on here. Oh, no. Let's see. Let me get something here. Let's see if I can do it like this, guys. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera. Look at there. Raiders coach. Now, is that awesome or what? Look at there. GTO front end. Two Pontiac engines. Look at that. Look at them big old meats back here. Look where they drive up there. That's just, guys, that is so cool. There will be no restoring of this. All this needs is just to clean up and put on the shelf. Gosh dang, that is, that is so cool. Y'all guys tell me if you think these are cool. I think they're cool. So cool. All right. Sticking with the Tom Daniels. Oh, parts are coming off this one. That just needs to be cleaned up. Parts glued back on it. Check that sucker out. That was the pie wagon, if I'm right. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that one's the pie wagon. Look at the wheels on these. Look at those wheels. Those are just too cool. It's got the little front piece here. It's probably glued on, but... Look at that. Yeah, y'all see a theme here. A lot of Tom Daniels stuff. Lots of Tom Daniels. Oh, check this sucker out. Oh, Mr. Catfish, Mr. Home Squatch Skillet just got done building his. Oh, Doug Hensley, this is the Munsters coach, Doug. This one was built back in the 60s. Look at that, AMT. Munsters coach. That is too freaking cool. Look at there. Eddie Herman. Grandpa Lily. So cool. All right, guys. I got about three more left to show you. Here's his old Tim's Revell panel wagon. Everything opens. You can see right there. That just needs to be cleaned up and put on the shelf. I got one of these that's not built, so I'll build me one. This one here is just getting cleaned up. And just display it just the way it is. That's the way you built it. That's the way I'm going to display it. That is just awesome. All right, let me get that one out of the way. Let's see, two more left. I think everybody knows what that is. Tom Daniels Paddy Wagon. 1912, The Fuzz. Look at that. That, just glue the parts back on, clean it up. Go put it in a display case. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to do. Stephanie's dad did a fine, fine job. Fine job. He sure did. All right, guys. This will probably wrap up the video. Y'all seen my little short on this one? But this is the creme de la creme. 
the coup de grace, as Mr. B.G. Bryan would say, uncertainty. Look at there. Beautiful. It's got the trophy, still got the stand, the original rope, the woman. Just got to put parts back on it. Look at there. It's even got the little key back here. And in the parts box, I got another key. So that tells me that he had two of these at one time. But this is all the models she had. So at one time, he must have had two of those. Y'all know how rare those are. So to have two of them, <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice if I could have got the other one. But this is this is freaking amazing. This right here is like the holy grail of holy grails, guys. Look at that. Clean it up and display it, or should I restore it? Y'all tell me in the description below. Clean it or restore it? Let's do a little vote on it and see what y'all say. Vote in the bottom. Clean it or restore it? All right. And that's just for this one right here. Uh, So, yeah. All right. I think this is going to be about it. Uh, I might go put them all in the display case and show you the display case, but that would be it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Go check out everybody I said, and please get over there and subscribe to Doozer's Models. Dwayne, bye. One last one, guys, I forgot to show you. It was right at the bottom of my feet here, and I didn't show it to you. So here you go. The Dragon Wagon. That's the original issue. This is not the reissue. And I have the box here too. And this one actually still had the box to it. Right there. I don't know. I'd have to move this out of the way to get this box in. Show you all the box. There's the side of the box. There's the dates. Or the dates right here. Let's see. Right there. 1969 look at that original issue man don't get no better than that all right guys like i said the same thing i said a while ago i ain't gonna repeat it bye all right here's a picture of some of the stuff in the cabinet and see i got the raiders coach in there the uncertainty the monsters coach Surf Woody, Bad Medicine, Tarantula, Little Coffin, Boot Hill Express, Cherry Bomb, Paddy Wagon, School Bus, Cherry Pie, whatever it's called, Pie Wagon, and then they all still need to be dusted, but you got the Tijuana, the fire truck, the silhouette, the uh, Corvair ramp truck, the dragon wagon. You got the street fighter, beer wagon, and the uh, ice ice truck, ice tea, whatever. Got the little Tim's wagon down there and stuff. That's just in that cabinet right there, so that's all I could fit in that cabinet. So there's some stuff above the cabinet there. Let y'all see that stuff. Here's one of my bigger cabinets right here full of promos and and old builds. Some 12 scale builds and 16 scale builds and 20 scale builds. If you can see some of the stuff that away, it's a big old long cabinet. That was my mom's cabinet. She displayed china and stuff in it, but now it's my model cabinet.